What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Torpedoes and Tarantulas. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing great. So, in today's video, I'm going to do an update. This is an update that maybe a few of my subscribers have been wondering about these guys. Uh, a lot of you may not even be aware of them. Nobody's requested this, but I thought I would show this update because I thought that some of you might find this uh, pretty cool, especially if you didn't know that I had these guys. These are true spiders that I have. And I have two of them, and they are Black Widow, the Northern Black Widow. I have two females. You can see one right there. She's made her webbing in those four sticks that I put in the center of the enclosure. And she's at least halfway down the enclosure, so she's not close to the lid. She always stays in that webbing, so she's not like running around crazy trying to get out or anything. She's pretty chill. And then I have this gal here, who you can see throughout her enclosure, she's got the entire thing webbed up, and she actually hangs on the underside of the lid here, and she's always got that all webbed up, and I actually have to like lift the lid up, get the scissors out, lift the lid up a little bit, snip web, lift, snip web, lift, snip web to keep from freaking her out because she webs the top. And I had a situation here probably three weeks ago when I went to feed her when I actually was snipping <coughs> all the webbing off the top and she actually came out of the enclosure and ran across my hand and up my arm and back on my back before I could really even react. And boy, let me tell you, it was a tense moment. As a youngster, like many people, I was terrified of these guys. But since I've been keeping other spiders and other invertebrates and learning more, I've realized they're not near as much of a threat. So I was kind of able to keep my composure. Fortunately, I was in the bathroom in front of a mirror. So I just twisted my body and I could see her on my back. And she went from one shoulder to the other and then turned around and went back. And that's when she made a run for my head and she ran up my neck, across my cheek, and I saw her coming and I closed my eyelid and she ran straight across my right eye and came to a stop on my forehead. Let me tell you, that takes balls of steel to be able to not freak out and dance around slapping yourself like a little girl, like I wanted to. But instead, I just let her go until she stopped and she came to a stop on my forehead. And then I thought, oh shit, now what do I do? So I just took her enclosure, held it down underneath me, played some metallic in my head, and did a little headbang, and off my forehead she came. I look in the enclosure, I don't see her there. I start looking on the counter and on the floor, I don't see her. Now I'm thinking, oh great, I've got this black widow loose. And I'm standing there looking around, trying to find her, and I raised my arms and kind of, a, I don't know where the hell she is, look, and I saw a movement, and I looked down, and she was hanging from a string of web off my left elbow, so I was able to lower her into the enclosure, and needless to say, I've been quite cautious with her ever since. That other gal has not given me any problems because she hangs down low. This one hangs around up top, but fortunately, like I said, I knew that unless there was pressure put on her or anything like that, she was no threat to me. I just wanted to let her run until she stopped, and finally, we got the situation under control, and I got her back in there, and I got her fed. And since I'm getting long-winded now, speaking of feeding, that's what we're going to try to do tonight, and we'll finish up this update. Let me get some roaches. All right, so first up, we will feed Little Miss Troublemaker, if I can hold on to the roach. Now, these guys aren't necessarily ambush predators or, or hunters, really. They rely on trapping their prey, and what I will usually do is kind of cripple the roach, and then just put it into the webbing and then she does the rest. As you can see, she just starts throwing webbing all over her prey so that it can't move. And she'll go in here pretty quick and give it a bite to incapacitate it. And then she will continue to wrap it. And when she's ready, she will eat. And th this wrapping is kind of, kind of for the purpose of like saran wrap. She can wrap her prey up and keep it for days and go back to it when she's ready to eat again a little bit more so these guys are very fascinating and I've learned that first of all they're not near the threat that everybody thinks that they are and second of all they're not fatal unless you're a roach 
There's never been any recorded deaths that I know of, of black widow bites, but they can be very uncomfortable and painful and unpleasant. So needless to say, I'm not terrified of these guys anymore, but I still don't want to get bitten by one. You can see that really awesome striping pattern on the on her back and that trademark hourglass on, on the underside of her abdomen. I'm waiting for her to, to deliver a bite. It's so subtle though, unlike a tarantula. There she goes. There it is right there in the back of the neck. That's the bite that's going to incapacitate it. So there you go. There's the first one fed. By the way, I want to ask you guys to give her a name down in the comments if you're interested. This is the one that made a jailbreak and ran up my arm, across my shoulders, up my face. So, if you want to give some suggestions for names, I will welcome them. We will leave her alone to eat now and feed the other one. Alright, and so here we go with number two. And, of course, the roach falls off. Yeah, it can be a bit trickier feeding this this gal here, seeing as she has such a smaller area of webbing. The other one, she's got the whole inside of her enclosure filled with webbing. So, there she goes, starting to throw her web. Unfortunately, she's on the underside. She really needs to be up top. And, of course, the roach falls again. So the problem with this girl, she is on the underside of her webbing, so she is not as effective at wrapping her prey up being on the underside as the other one. But I'm trying to cripple the roach enough where it will stay in the webbing, and I can't seem to do it. Alright guys, if something doesn't happen pretty quick with this gal, I'm going to quit boring you because she's obviously not giving the same reaction as the other one. And now I've messed with the roach so much that it's not struggling enough to get a reaction out of her. So, unfortunately we may not get to see a repeat of the first one. But, whatever. It is what it is. She'll end up eating, as the roach starts to squirm, she will end up eating this roach, as, as will the other gal. Uh, for any of you, those of you who have been wondering how my black widows were doing, you see now they're doing great. Um, I did mention that there were three other YouTubers that have siblings to these Black Widows, which I actually sent to them. I'm hoping maybe this summer I can find a male or two and maybe feed these girls. If not, these girls will be my pets until the day they die. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a, a thumbs up and a comment. If there was anything that you didn't like, let me know in the comments. I hope you guys take care of yourselves and each other. Remember to have a great day, a great night, wherever you're at. Take care of yourselves and each other, and God bless.